Good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning, and I'm telling you, we had one heck of a storm last night. Wow. I mean, I woke up in the night with lightning and thunder going on and quite a, quite a few, quite a bit of wind, but tons of rain. And I've got to get out here today and get some work done because this place is looking terrible. I have been pretty much devoting my time to my garden and my buckets and my YouTube channel. And I have not taken care of my Bobby's garden and I'm ashamed of myself because it's looking bad. It's looking really awful. And I'm a, I am, I'm ashamed because I wanted this to be pretty out here for him. This is his garden. My azaleas are blooming. Look, y'all, this was my son's tricycle when he was a little kid. Now, usually I've taken a big basket and wire it to that thing that used to hold the seed and plant flowers in it like like marigolds or petunias and I love that but I set it close to the front step so you can see it when you walk up look at this old plow this was my daddy's <laughs> sure was I love rabbits I'm a rabbit freak This is looking awful over here. My gosh. But I gotta get out here and get some work done. See the milk cans, y'all? They're tractor seats and they're on top of old milk jugs. Metal milk jugs. I thought of the name of that thing. It's called a chimenea. That's what it is. So I'm gonna get out here, I think, today, pick up some sticks try to get this place fixed up a little. So yesterday afternoon, I went and got my gas to fill up my lawnmower. And I got a little bit of mowing done. I'm having to watch where I walk. If I fall out here again, I am toast. <laughs> so what I have to do, see I got a little bit done. I still have all that big pile of brush that I've got to burn, but it's so big now that I'm going to have to divide that up in a smaller pile and burn it like that because if I don't, I'm going to have a huge fire. That's just awful. Here's part of that tree that fell, just part of it, but it's still alive. When I have to have this cut down, you can see where that has fallen. And I can't mow this area. Look, y'all have gophers. Y'all ever seen gopher mounds? Sure many of you have. You, you city folk probably never saw a gopher mound. We're going back here. This part has to be mowed. Aren't the woods pretty? I love the woods. You guys see that big old lamb? I've showed y'all this before. This is still alive. And it's just split off from that tree. Look how that did. It's probably going to kill that tree eventually. But that tree's still alive up there. It's huge. There's a big limb down from that tree over there. This is a fenced area right here. But I can't get to it. See all that in there? I can't get over there because my access is blocked. This big old tree is down. 
Well, part of the limb actually is down, huge limb. But look, I can't get in here. I can't mow all this. Snaky looking to me. I'm having to watch for fire ant mounds. But look at this tree. Oof. This one's down and it's dead. And it fell on my gate and fell on a fence back here. So I can't get over into that part of the yard. I got all this to mow. It's got to dry out before I can get this. I wish to goodness when I was mowing this side over here, I just kept going because now it's too wet. And I'm gonna have to wait for that to dry out. I love that tree. That's just, I call that my umbrella tree. Walking through in here, I love that. I got a lot to do. I got a lot of mowing to do. Got a lot of weed eating to do. I'm gonna go through here. See my fan, my uh, my new little fence I put up the other day. I have an eagle eye viewer that noticed that. It's just another old headboard, iron headboard that I stuck out here. And that one too. I like that. I've always liked fences. Look, okay, y'all, I've got carrots. Now, I know that I got a big old carrot right there. I know I do, but I don't want to pull it up yet. I need to get that guy off because it's not going to get any bigger. But I've got some new blossoms on here. Look at that little fella in there. That just did really well for me. I got a lot of those out of there. Got a lot to do. I sure do. Let's check my... Oh, look, y'all. Here's my rain gauge. Quite a bit. Quite a bit of rain. I can't even... It's on the 11 mark. A little above the 11 mark. I don't know what exactly that means. Got a lot of rain, though. That's for sure. All right. I'll wait for the wait for this sunshine to dry up that ground and then I will get out here and get to work. See y'all in a bit.
Hey y'all, I wanted to remind you that our sweet subscriber Maria contacted me this morning and asked if I would ask y'all to please pay for her daughter Estella. The daughter's name is Estella Varga and Maria is her mother. Estella has COVID-19 and her mother says that she is in pain. In our community, it's all about supporting and lifting up one another. And we, we can do that in prayer. So if you will please support Maria and her lovely daughter Estella. And Maria, we are praying for you. We love you, we care about you. And we want your daughter to get well quickly. And Lord, give her no more pain, please. So thank you all for doing that. That is what our community is all about, caring about one another. So I appreciate it very, very much. So I cleaned all my boxes out over here. I've got those few to remove, but they were all crammed in here and they just looked awful. So today I brought some tin over this way and I'm going to, I've unhooked all my hoses and rolled them up and put them away. So today I'm going to wrap my, my faucets and then cover that area with tin for this winter. I was lucky I got by last winter without having a pipe break, knock on wood, and I don't want one this this winter either because I have to turn off my water and call someone, a plumber, to come out here and man, I am not going to be able to afford that kind of thing this year. I had too many expenses, uh, unexpected expenses to happen this, this last year. And so today, I'm hoping to get by with, with some good luck. I am so here I am back inside I've got my bubble wrap ready my duct tape I use these gray bags to go over all of this and I cover my faucets with it I got my scissors ready I'm gonna go wrap my pipes I know it's a little bit early but I'm done with the faucets anyway so I have to do this every year undo my faucets and then wrap them back up so they won't freeze so y'all I hope you all have a great day I'm going to get out there in a little while and finish my mowing. I took your mowing with me. Did you enjoy the ride? <laughs> I hope you did. So y'all have a great day, and I will see you soon. As always, I hope God is good to you today. And please don't forget Maria's daughter, Estella Varga, in your prayers. Thank you so much. Hi, Miss Key. See y'all later. Bye-bye.